The night lay thick around us as my three friends and I embarked on a road trip, seeking solace and adventure under the star-studded sky. The desolate highway stretched ahead, surrounded by the inky abyss of towering trees. Our laughter and lively chatter filled the car, creating a bubble of camaraderie in the moonlit night. As the miles rolled beneath our wheels, the atmosphere inside the car shifted. The conversation dwindled, giving way to an unspoken tension that hung in the air. The desolation outside pressed in, and the shadows seemed to grow denser, wrapping the road in an eerie silence. The GPS signal flickered, leaving us to navigate by the sporadic glow of road signs. The isolation was palpable, the dense woods pressing in on both sides of the narrow highway. We were engulfed in the darkness, surrounded by the unseen whispers of the night. The moon hung low in the sky, casting a pale glow that struggled to penetrate the thick canopy of branches overhead. The road stretched endlessly before us, the car's headlights cutting through the obsidian void. A sense of disquiet settled over us, an invisible weight that clung to the air. Just as the unease in the car reached its peak, the road took a sudden turn, leading us away from the well-traveled path. The trees closed in, forming a tunnel of darkness that swallowed us whole. The atmosphere inside the car grew tense as the path twisted and turned, revealing a nightmarish labyrinth. The car plunged into an unsettling tunnel of shadows, the headlights struggling to pierce the oppressive blackness. A feeling of claustrophobia gripped us, and the road seemed to stretch on endlessly, as if time itself had warped in this spectral maze. Anxiety seeped into our voices as we debated turning back, but the road resisted our retreat. The air was charged with an unnatural energy, and a distant whisper seemed to echo through the woods, carrying words that danced just beyond the edge of comprehension. As we navigated the twisted path, a strange fog materialized, slithering across the road like ghostly tendrils. Visibility plummeted, reducing the world outside to a mere shadow of reality. The car's headlights cast feeble beams that danced with the ethereal fog. In the midst of the fog, a figure materialized, standing in the middle of the road, panic seized us, and I slammed on the brakes, the car screeching to a halt just a few feet away from the mysterious silhouette. The fog clung to the figure, revealing a spectral woman in a tattered white dress. Her eyes, hollow and vacant, met ours with a chilling intensity. A guttural whisper echoed in the air, urging us to leave this accursed place. The woman's form seemed to flicker, and the air pulsed with an unnatural energy. Without a word, she pointed down the road, her gaze filled with an otherworldly sorrow. Terrified yet compelled to uncover the mysteries that surrounded us, we accelerated, leaving the spectral woman behind. As we drove through the fog-laden road, the haunting image lingered in our minds, and the atmosphere inside the car grew heavy with an inexplicable sorrow. The road twisted and turned once again, leading us into an abandoned town shrouded in darkness. The dilapidated buildings stood like forgotten memories, their broken windows staring at us like empty eyes. A flickering streetlight cast long, distorted shadows on the deserted streets, and an unsettling stillness enveloped the town. Uneasy glances were exchanged as we cautiously drove through the ghostly remnants of civilization. The silence was punctuated only by the rhythmic thud of our hearts. A distant howl echoed through the empty streets, an eerie reminder that we were not alone in this spectral town. As we reached a desolate crossroads, a flicker of movement caught our attention. A figure, cloaked in shadows, emerged from an alleyway. We strained to see, and a gasp escaped our lips as the silhouette revealed itself to be the spectral woman from the fog. Her long, disheveled hair obscured her face, and she moved with an otherworldly grace. The car slowed involuntarily as we approached the mysterious woman. A haunting melody, almost imperceptible, wafted through the air. The atmosphere grew heavy with an inexplicable sorrow, and an otherworldly chill settled over us. The woman raised her head, her hollow eyes locking onto ours. A guttural whisper emanated from her lips, a mournful plea that echoed through the desolate town. Leave this place, she rasped, her voice carrying the weight of centuries, before the darkness claims you too. Panic seized us once more, and the instinct to flee gripped our hearts. The car accelerated, leaving the spectral woman behind. As we drove through the abandoned town, the haunting melody lingered in the air, a somber reminder of the encounter with the otherworldly presence. The road twisted and turned once again, leading us into a thick fog that seemed to materialize out of nowhere. 
Visibility plummeted, reducing the world outside to a hazy void. The car's headlights barely penetrated the dense mist, casting an eerie glow that danced with ghostly tendrils. Unease settled over us like a shroud as we navigated through the fog. The atmosphere was charged with an unseen tension, and a distant whisper seemed to beckon us forward. Shapes materialized in the mist, shadowy figures that flitted in and out of view, their forms elusive and unsettling. Suddenly, the fog parted, revealing a cemetery bathed in an ethereal glow. The gravestones stood like silent sentinels, and an otherworldly stillness hung in the air. The car slowed to a crawl as we took in the surreal scene. In the center of the graveyard, a figure stood, the woman in the tattered white dress. The haunting melody reached a crescendo, echoing through the cemetery. The air pulsated with an ancient energy, and the gravestones seemed to tremble in response. As we approached, the spectral woman pointed towards a grave, her eyes filled with a profound sadness. The date on the tombstone matched the current time, 3.33 a.m. A realization struck us with a chilling force. The woman was trapped in a loop of eternal despair, mourning a loss that transcended the boundaries of time. A dark force manifested above the grave, casting an ominous shadow over the cemetery. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy, and the gravitational pull of the supernatural entity seemed to draw us closer. We were enveloped in a blinding light, and the world warped and twisted around us. In an instant, we found ourselves back on the desolate highway, the ghostly town and cemetery mere phantoms of the night. The moon cast long shadows on the road, and the car's headlights cut through the darkness. The haunting melody lingered in our ears, a haunting reminder of the spectral encounter. As we drove away from the supernatural ordeal, the camaraderie that once filled the car had been replaced by a somber silence. The road stretched ahead, an ordinary ribbon of asphalt, but the memory of the spectral woman and the haunted town lingered like a shadow. The night, once a canvas for laughter and adventure, had become a realm where the boundaries between the living and the supernatural blurred into a chilling tapestry of horror. The four of us were forever bound by the shared experience, haunted by the echoes of a night gone wrong on a desolate highway cloaked in darkness.